Hello everybody, in this video we will see ozone depletion. Ozone is another form of oxygen and ozone is present in the stratosphere. Stratosphere is ar around say uh, 15 to 30 kilometers above earth, earth's atmosphere. Oxygen has got three forms like um, single atomic, diatomic and tri uh, triatomic. Diatomic means O2 and uh, triatomic is O3 that is ozone. Now, normal oxygen that is O2 which we are inhaling or living beings they are uh, you know cons uh, they are inhaling they uh, it reacts with say uh, the food which you are consuming it's a food is a uh, carbohydrate when this food reacts with um, I mean carbohydrates reacts with ozone uh, sorry oxygen um, energy is generated that's how we are getting energy so in the f same way uh, say the um, engines automobile engines uh, when uh, the, the fuel which is provided that is say um, diesel or petrol or any you know other um, um, other source of um, say fossil fuel all these are you know uh, these fuels are carbohydrates when it in the engine when it burns it, it, it undergoes a chemical reaction and it mixes with oxygen and energy is liberated that is how we are getting energy. Now ozone uh, is uh, other than that see uh, uh, that is oxygen now see if you consider ozone ozone and oxygen are, uh, are protecting this earth they all the say uh, it maintains a warm atmosphere and uh, safeguard the living beings here how it is done let us see so uh, uh, the how uh, the uh, sun emits radiation and that contains re uh, different uh, forms of radiations like you know uv rays x rays gamma rays infrared rays etc. Now in that only UV rays is coming to earth's atmosphere because other uh, rays are scattered. Now uh, this UV rays it can be classified as UV rays A, B and C. UV rays A is say uh, it is having high frequency say around uh, 315 to 400 nanometer. Then UV rays B uh, that is uh, it has got a middle uh, fre uh, frequency that is around uh, say um, 218 to 315 nanometer and UV rays C that is uh, say 100 to 280 nanometer. So, this is how uh, UV rays are classified in that UV rays A is uh, directly entering into the earth's atmosphere which is not harmful which is it has it has got high frequency. Next you have UV rays B which is slightly harmful to human being and also then you, ha you have UV rays C which is not entering into the atmosphere, UV rays B and C are not entering into earth's atmosphere, these are harmful. Now how these harmful UV rays are uh, you know re reflected or absorbed by oxygen that we will see. So at the top of the stratosphere as I said we have ox ozone layer and above that you have oxygen layer that is O2. So at the top of the stratosphere you have O2 layer and below that you have ozone layer. In the ozone layer so, sorry at the top in the o oxygen layer that is O2 layer the uh, ultraviolet rays C UVC uh, enters and it absorbs the heat uh, that energy and uh, you, see, you see the O2 uh, absorbs energy and will be split into say one O2 will be split into two O2 o ox, uh, o mo, uh, atoms. So, o, o will be O2 will be split into two O atoms. Now, when this uh, one of these oxygen atom combines with another O2 atom, O3 will be formed. So, you have two o, uh, one O2 at, uh, o, ox, oxygen atom absorbs energy and o, uh, it will be split, uh, oxygen will be split into uh, single atomic, two single atomic at, uh, oxygens. Then one of these single atomic oxygen combines with another O2 and O3 will be formed. This is how ox, ozone is formed and uh, this reaction prevents the entry of the UV rays C which is very harmful to earth's atmosphere. Now we have, so since the ozone is formed, ozone density is higher than that of oxygen, so it will come downwards. Now when this, so below the oxygen layer we have ozone layer. Now uh, this layer protects the earth from UV rays B, how it is done? So when UV rays B enters the earth's atmosphere, this ozone uh, absorbs the energy from UV rays B and uh, it will be split into, uh, O3 will be split into three 
say normal ox oxygen uh, atom okay, that is O. O3 will be split into three o oxygen atoms and two of these oxygen atoms combines together and will form a uh, will form um, oxygen mo molecule that is O2. So that means uh, ozone atom um, splits first it absorbs energy from UV rays and will be uh, split into three uh, oxy normal o oxygen atom uh, atoms and then two of these oxygen atoms combine together to form oxygen um, atom okay so this density is high so uh, low so it will move upwards so the same reaction is happening and due to this uh, say um, earth's atmosphere uh, uh, see is safe and it these two oxygen and o2 prevents the entry of the uh, this oz i mean uv rays harmful uv rays into earth's atmosphere and high uv high frequency uv rays that is uva will enter into the earth's atmosphere and this maintains a warm atmosphere here because uh, for living beings to live peacefully we need warm atmosphere now this is how uh, the ozone and oxygen is protecting the earth's atmosphere and now let us see what is ozone depletion now uh, the domestic refrigerators or air conditioners which we use in our see for uh, we, we which we, which we use uh, that contain uh, that use an a fluid called refrigerant so refrigerant is the fluid which is used in the domestic refrigerators now if there is a leakage of this these are actually cfcs okay cf C, uh, chlorofluorocarbons now uh, say if we consider r11 as a refrigerant r11 its chemical form is uh, cfcl3 okay now when uh, when there is a leakage of this refrigerant this type of refrigerants uh, its density is less so it will move up, upwards and reach at the top of the stratosphere as it reaches there it absorbs the energy from the um, sun and uh, see uh, cfcl3 uh, chlorine will be liberated now when okay because it absorbs energy now when this chlorine in the presence of ultraviolet rays it reacts with uh, say uh, oxygen atom o2 and uh, oh, oh, see uh, o3 okay ozone atom o3 when this chlorine reacts with ozone atom o3 uh, it it depletes that is uh, clo and o2 will be formed so one ozone atom is depleted now when this chlorine clo reacts with another ozone atom another cl and two o2 will be formed so in that way again chlorine will be uh, liberated okay like, like this chlorine atom reacts with ozone to deplete that into oxygen so a, a single chlorine atom can deplete millions of uh, say ozone molecules and due to this what happens is small layers its holes are formed in the ozone layer so that is called ozone depletion okay when uh, chlorine uh, the chl chlorine which is present in the, uh, the the in the refrigerants reacts with ozone molecule oxygen will be formed so and in that way ozone will be depleted so that is called ozone depletion now the the, the main you know uh, the issue of this ozone depletion is that uh, when uh, ozone is depleted holes will be formed and through these holes harmful uv rays like uv rays b will be entering into earth atmosphere and this will cause very harmful you know uh, issues like skin cancer cataract cataract is another form of uh, it's a form of like um, opaque eye okay your eye lens will be affected then you have uh, uh, immune system your immune system will be affected and also uh, too much exposure of the uh, uv rays will cause melanoma okay that also is an, a, a, a different type of skin cancer okay so hope you understood this topic uh, thank you very much for listening to this video thank you